very first time I was in this theater was when I was nine years old in 1956 to see the movie Forbidden Planet. It was my birthday and I remember looking all around me at the decor. Probably spent more time looking at the, at the building than I did at the movie. As it got into the 80s, we all felt we had to do something to save the building so that it wouldn't get torn down and, a new, and an office building put up. Well, the condition was threadbare. The, the roof leaked and the balcony uh, floor was rotten. You couldn't even walk on it. The mural that goes across the Presidio March was torn and gone, and there were rats in the theater. We didn't own the theater at that time. So we spent a million one to acquire the theater, uh, which we did in 1980. Yeah, it was bad shape, but it was a performing arts theater and it had 1,400 seats. Voila, that's perfect for Honolulu. And right in the center of Honolulu with lots of parking available, we just had to clean up the neighborhood too. <laughs> so that was part of the challenge. There was a lot of work that we needed to do. The stage had been stripped of all of its equipment, so there were no lights. The switchboard was not in operating condition, so the switchboard got completely rewired and, and was made to work again. And that was the original switchboard from 1922. We scavenged equipment, whatever we could find that was useful from other theaters that unfortunately were being torn down. So we got some seats from the King Theater on King Street. We got some stage lights from the Palace Theater on Keomoku and Baratania. We got some from the Roosevelt Theater that was on Mauna Kea Street. And we, we managed to actually equip the stage so that it had stage lights and uh, could be used by groups. My motivation for being in charge of the theater was it was a vision and it was a long-term project and the goal was not to do a paint up fix up job but we wanted to restore it to maintain the ambiance of what it looked like in 1922 with a lot of patience and perseverance I felt that we we could succeed and we did on opening night in 1996 we had done it we had arrived, and so I think that was a thrill to say, we, we did it, we're almost finished, and the, the joy of uh, seeing this beautiful historic theater. The chorus I sing in, the sounds of a little chorus and quartets, were the first act in the theater after it was restored. How did I feel about it? Terrific. There were 4,000 people showed up and for, th for three shows, and it was turnaway crowds. Everybody wanted to see the renewed Hawaii Theater. It got a lot of publicity, and fortunately, because that put it on the map. It's the beauty and the history, importantly, of the theater that I think means the most to me. It's hard to put it into words, but the Hawaii is a marvelous treasure that is still viable and useful and needed in Hawaii today. Almost a hundred years ago when it opened, it was called the Pride of the Pacific, and it's still the pride of the Pacific. And so it's, it's a treasure, and especially more so that all the other theaters in Hawaii have been torn down. So if we could have saved one theater, I'm glad that it was the Hawaii Theater. <laughs>